Andrew. We call him Kenny. Hello, hello, hello Kendrew. Hello. Good to have you on here. How are you Thank doing? Thank you very much. How are you doing I'm, after this? I'm victory? great. I'm so good, honestly, so good. Uh, <laughs> I felt that there was a curse on me with interviews because I've been doing the interviews for quite a little bit, and uh, every time I'm in an interviewer, I lost. So <laughs> it feels good to break. It feels good to break that curse. <laughs> well, there you go. Broke it, and against. G2 of all teams, this is a map we talk about, hey, attacking side, we had a 4-2 at the split, like, okay, this is this is surely going to change once we go to the second half, but you had everything on lock. W what happened there from your point of view? What did Secret bring to the table to take the win today? Um, I, I, we've been struggling a little bit, obviously, with our results, um, and we decided last week after we got destroyed by Kwana to uh, just focus on ourselves. Um, do no sort of like reading into the opponent, just sort of focus on ourselves, make sure that our gameplay is fine because we, we always had the attacks down, mm -hmm. but we just struggled a lot on defense and it was very, very basic, like simple mistakes that we kept like repeating. Uh, but this week we focused a lot on our defenses, trading off each other, communicating properly, making sure that we have win conditions, etc. And just, like I said, focusing on ourselves and moving forward. All right, then back to basics for this one. Usually wins it out. Mm -hmm. Even bands are very basic in this. Were you kind of narrowing things down to get to Chalet in this case? The map band, that is. Uh, I mean, we, we knew that Chalet was definitely a possibility. Um, I think it was probably the most probable map, so it wasn't a mm -hmm. surprise that we went there. They're, they're a team that likes to sort of like counter a little bit, aren't they, and do some funky stuff. So uh, they have VOD on us, so we, we expected it. All right. And, you know, last week you had two games, um, had a bit of a difficult time going close versus Na'Vi and you're against two UK teams. It can, it can, you know, be a bit difficult to kind of deal with there. But how did you reset yourself mentally into this one? Because you talk about going back to fundamentals, to basics today, to BG2. How was that process over the past few days? Um, I'm, I'm actually like surprise and it's a big shout out to my teammates and uh, myself and the coaching staff is that our mentality has been perfect like the entire way through even when we was getting destroyed uh, i think you saw versus navi when we were six one down we were laughing mm -hmm. um like we know that we have what it takes it's just showing it on game day because practice is good uh the mentality is good the trust in each other's good uh, it was just about making sure that we bring it on the game day and just making sure that we have no regrets, like looking back at the game and just doing what we want to do. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, focusing on ourselves and moving forward. Do you feel that you've had time to reflect on why there's that disconnect between practice and in official games and results? I don't know whether it's whether it's pressure. Like we, 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 we've, we've had conversations about it, obviously, mm -hmm. but like... It's 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 obviously it's an important stage. Uh, me uh, and the boys are in relegation contention, so there could be pressure. Uh, but like I said, it's just about focusing on what we're doing now and trying to move forward. All right, you were focused on your matchup today versus G two. You're able to smash them on Chalet. No other ways around it. Then you go up against BDS in our next mm. play day next Monday. So, what is the expectation there going against the EU Giants? I mean, BDS are probably one of the best teams in, in the world, if not just Europe. So uh, we're just taking it one game at a time. They're very beatable, just like any other team. And uh, just, again, just focus on us and see what we can do. All right. Very excited to see then the results and how they shape up for our next play day. How are you feeling with the rest of the team? You said, you know, you're really happy. You pat on the back for everybody as well. So how's how's the, I guess, the morale for Secret? And how are you feeling with the squad now in stage three, it's good. I'm, I'm I'm really good friends with all the boys on the on the team. It's just uh, it's been good vibes so far. Um, I've I've recently I've had like very kind of like I'd, I'd say from my experience bad experiences. Um, so it's nice to have um, a team that like supports one another and uh, brings people up because that's what that's what we're trying to do. Like bring like the the mentality forward if you get what I mean. All right, fair enough. So, Kendra, anything you'd like to say to all the Team Secret fans out there? Uh, thanks for supporting us, and uh, I hope that we can continue to win and keep up this good form uh, going into next week. 
Very excited for it. Again, for all the fans out there, Secret Play BDS at Game 4, our second-to-last game. Their matchup should be starting around exactly this time here at 9.30 CEST. So wait up. Be ready for it. That's when the game goes. They play BDS in the next one. Kendrew, thank you very much. Good to have you on here with us in the interview. Thank you very much. And congratulations. Good luck next week. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.